Hello guys and welcome back. Let's talk about the weekly watch list and the stocks that I am watching for this week. From the weekly, um, you know, calendar, um, you know, I'm going to be taking a look at the futures, um, crypto, um, all of that good stuff and the catalyst. You know, as you guys, you know, have seen, um, I, I haven't posted for the past week, you know, again, because of the market conditions. I'm not really alerting yet until the dust uh, settles. So I still have a lot to talk about, a lot to uh, catch up um, upon. Um, at the end of the video, I'll be telling you guys what I've been doing with my time and what you guys um, should really do. And overall, let's start off with uh, the SPY. So on my last weekly watch list video, okay, so I made a weekly watch list video a week ago. We have talked about this head and shoulder, and now uh, the head and shoulder is coming into reality, and we are about to hit 430, 428 on our daily chart. Now, let's take a look at the catalyst first. So as you guys saw, you know, Monday market was closed. Um, Friday is basically kind of like the main thing, uh, Fed monetary policy report um other than that nothing much going on this is probably the only thing that i'll be watching um you know this report um which you guys can click and view on um on this website so overall let's start off you know with the spy first of all if we actually take a look at the futures so the es mini futures it already hit that level okay monday Okay, even though today market was closed, futures were open and futures dropped very, very badly. Okay, so pretty much at market open, we're kind of guaranteed to gap down and hit that level of support. So this is a major, major level of support. The one thing that I will be watching is the volume. Okay, if we get extremely high volume okay so around you know this candle bar we got on january 24th i will be looking to buy in calls because you got to understand that this is a major major level of support okay this is our major major level of support but if we do break that level you know we're gonna have a huge head and shoulder breakout it broke that 200 and EMA, and honestly, the market is not looking good. Now, we also have a lot of fears, you know, uh, Ukraine, Russia war, um, inflation, and really that is the time to scale in as an investor for the long term. You know, when everybody is screaming war, inflation, you know, all of that stuff, uh, really that is the time to start scaling in for long terms. Um, you know, taking a look at SPY, you know, you know, that's the 10% gain, you know, buying in right over here. So SPY is looking like this. We're pretty much looking to gap down right at market open, hit 430. UVXY, you know, really just looking to make a surge. Um, looks very, very bullish, which is the kind of the fear index. So let's take a look at QQQ. Again, you know, we're seeing those bear flags major major levels um you know of support over here we break that level of support you know we have some other supports down below to go down on triple qqq so let's take a look at you know all of these other um you know setups taking a look at tesla has this uh asymmetrical triangle um and definitely has a lot more room to the downside if we break this you know we can test 828 so you know this is a very nice symmetrical triangle play again this is a neutral pattern so you guys can play this to the downside or to the upside but either way we're pretty much guaranteed to gap down right at market open we're looking to um open very very bearish so taking a look at xlf it is at a major level of support i'm um, taking a look at the daily again it had a very very nice channel and it's looking to break this level of support um you know we also have bank of america kind of in that major major level of support um you know, Apple had that very, very nice inverse head and shoulder. It is about to break that level of support. Our next support for Apple looks to be 158, around 160 mental number. So really everything looking to break the support and gap down below. Um, you know, Neo also just looking to kind of, you know, hit around $15, $16 around uh, the level of support down below. Um, so Coinbase 
also looking to kind of break off the support um you know especially crypto took a very very big dump which i want to talk about so you know as you guys saw i made a whole video on ethereum on bitcoin all of those setups and all of them broke supports okay and again it was all of this fear inflation russia and we just broke through that level of support and overall you know me um i'm a very very big believer in ethereum web 3.0 the metaverse I will be looking to buy Ethereum right at 1,800. Okay, so right around this level, 1,800 is going to be a great, great buy. If, okay, I really hope that Ethereum hits that level, I'll be making another video and I'll be putting around 5,000 at this level for a very, very nice long term position. So this is what I'm watching for Ethereum. Again, I'm not in, you know, really big any long terms. I'm mostly cash except for my Amazon. Uh, spreads and shares but ethereum is going to be on very very high watch if we hit this level i will be stacking up on the dip so coin gold is our bullish play so you know i'm only in gold shares but as you guys saw on the weekly time frame gold looks incredible so i've entered in right around 170 and i'm only up you know like three percent um on shares so, you know, it's going to be a very, very slow play. But taking a look at gold, this is the most bullish play I've seen in for, a, uh, you know, in a while. You know, we have been setting up for almost three years. So gold is going to be, you know, really my top play just for shares right now. This is the only bullish play that I'm seeing in this market because all of this fear drives gold up. You know, especially Russia, um, all of that worst stuff, inflation, all of those, you know, catalysts drive gold up you know especially taking a look you know after 2008 you know the crash after 2008 they had a very very nice incredible run up so this setup is looking very very nice even taking a look at silver you know on the daily time frame it is looking to break this downtrend okay so um silver also has a very very nice gap to fill so silver and gold are kind of like the only bullish setups that i'm seeing in the current market um so other than that overall that is all um really now is the time to start scaling in um mostly i, I will be just looking to scale in on cryptos okay so ethereum is going to be my main um watch other than that you know amazon as well as all the other blue chips are what i am taking um, a look at so overall hope you guys enjoyed this video um and see you guys tomorrow i'll be posting another another video and getting past uh you know to posting uh every single day so overall hope you guys enjoyed this video now while i was gone the past couple of weeks i've been really studying up on web 3.0 ethereum really understanding you know the concept of metaverse and the concept of decentralization so you know while i'm you know kind of have a lot more time you know instead of just trading what you guys can really do is study up on how ethereum works and there are definitely a ton of opportunities you know especially with nfts really understanding the value and how these are going to be staying in for the long term so i've decided to make a whole discord server so make sure to join um, you know, in the discord, in the link, in the description for, you know, these NFTs and really educating on Ethereum Web 3.0 decentralization and all of that cool stuff, which I'm still learning upon. And I really, really hope I can make videos um, on that. So overall, make sure to follow Exit of the Metaverse on Twitter, join the discord and overall insanely, insanely just, you know, incredible art. So overall, hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys tomorrow at Market Open. Again, mostly I'm just going to be watching. That is all I've made. You know, we have made a lot as a community um, over the past two years with alerting. And, and, you know, it's been an incredible year last year. So just going to be watching the market and waiting for the opportunities to come to me. So overall, hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.